My dear brothers and sisters, if we are to ponder over the days that have gone by in this dunya, we would find that we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it in either what was permissible or what was haram. And so that is the reality of time. That is the reality of time. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by time. When Allah swears by something of His creation, it is to show the significance of it. Allah only swears by great things. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by time, it was to signify the importance of it. What did Allah say right after that? What was the subject of the oath? Inna al-insana lafi khus. That indeed man is in loss. Because this time we don't use it wisely. And so the days are going by. And the time is ticking. And we have not prepared anything for where we're heading to. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said about the importance of this time and how we will be questioned about it before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet ﷺ said, لَن تَزُولَ قَدَمَا عَبْدٍ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ حَتَّى يُسْعَلْ عَنْ أَرْبَعِ خَصَارٍ That your two feet on the day of judgment will not move when you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your two feet when you're standing before Allah will not move until you are asked about four things. And among the four things he mentioned, عَنْ عُمُرِكَ بِمَا أَفْنَا About your life and what you spent it in. وَعَنْ شَبَابِكَ فِيمَا أَبْلَهِ and your youth, and how you used it. My dear brothers and sisters, this blessing of time is a blessing that most people don't realize its value. The Prophet ﷺ said, نِعْمَتَانِ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ That there are two blessings that most people don't take advantage of your good health and your free time. 